Hey guys, so this is going to be a quick video on UV overlaps and offsetting. So this is kind of important to understand. Most of you probably understand UV overlaps. It's very simple. It's the idea that when you have a model, it has its UVs, and they're set on the uh, 0 to 1 space, something like so. And when you have that same more or less object, it could be duplicates or link duplicates, it shares that same UV space. So you're reusing the textures basically for multiple objects instead of having a bunch of these laid out onto a, um, a model potentially. All right, sometimes they can be linked. In this case, I just have them duplicated. Uh, but you might want to try to bake these things later on in like Substance Painter, right? And it doesn't bake out really well because, well, which one's baking? This is going to create ambient occlusion in here. And this one will get ambient occlusion, but this one won't. This one won't, right? So what do you need to do here? Well, this is where it gets interesting. Uh, this model is the one we want to bake so that we don't have the additional AO in this case, perhaps. Uh, but that means all of these ones over here, we have to offset through UVs. Otherwise, these will bake. So we can grab these real quick, press A, G, X, and 1. And that's just going to move it off to the right by an increment of 1. So we can go ahead and export this if we wanted to take it to Substance. Export it, bring it in there, bake it, whatever the case. Um, and then we can change our project file later on where we have it back the other way, basically. So all of those islands here, we could select them and then press G, X, negative 1, bring it on back, and we can go ahead and... Uh, use that and start painting because if you have it offset you won't be able to paint on them all right but if you move them back and you reload your project uh, file there the, the low poly you'll be able to paint on it now so you can bake it with one and then switch it to the other uh, also when you're doing uv mapping just a side note because i saw it was that uh these are overlaying each other this is an overlap as well but that's kind of like a something you don't want to do basically you don't want to overlap uh, one object on top of another obviously so I'm going to try to keep everything, uh, you know, spaced accordingly or whatever the case. And so that's all I want to talk about with that because I think it's quite useful information that you can do those kinds of things. No problem. All right. Anyways, I'll check you out in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.